Hey guys, Laura Halleck here. I'm a GF team black belt. I have Eddie and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite techniques today. Um, it's something that I use a lot in training, but I also use in competition. I really like it. It's kind of intricate to set up, but once you have it set up, it's just, you're done from there. So let's get to it. It's gonna be from mount. Although you can catch this move uh, in side control, I just prefer to, or yeah, I prefer to get it in mount, um, but you can't get it from side control. All right, so we're in mount. Just some mount basics here. There's a low mount with, with your knees a little bit more by the ribs and your feet by the heels. And then there's a high mount with your knees under the armpits and your feet by the hips. This specific choke, you kind of need, need to be in a lower mount, okay? So you can push your hips back, walk your feet back, and you want your hips to be more set like on the hips. That way you have more area to work with for the neck, okay? So first thing, just holding mount, you want to be like a waterbed here. While you're being like a waterbed, and I'm sure they're going to be bumping, trying to push you off, you need to be working your lapel out, okay? I want to be choking with my right hand. So I'm going to pull my right lapel out. This could be different for you. If you're going to choke with your left hand, then you need to pull your left hand out. But since I'm going to be choking with my right, I'm going to pull my right lapel out. And once I have my lapel pulled out, I like to hug the head here. When you hug the head, you need to make sure that you shift the weight to the opposite side. So if they bump you to that side, you, either side, you have a base. If I stay neutral with hugging the head and he bumps me, I could fall over to that side. So you need to make sure once you hug the head, you shift your weight to the side. I'm gonna walk back a little bit this way. Now, once I'm hugging the head, shift the weight to the side, I'm gonna feed the lapel to the hand that's hugging the head. You don't need to be super tight with this lapel. I like to just grab the tip of it. And I, again, you guys, you wanna like pull your weight down because you wanna see the skirt of the lapel, this part, to go underneath the chin, okay? And if you pull your body down with it, it's gonna naturally pull down, okay? So hug the head, feed the lapel, shift your weight down. Add that shoulder pressure. Once I'm here, you pretty much have it set up. Now I just need to move the body. So I'm gonna bring everything to my choking arm side. So on my right side, I'm gonna bring windshield wiper my feet over and come to this side. Once I have my foot, then I'm gonna bring my left hand to this side here. Once I have my hand, then I can sprawl out and bring my head to this side. Once you have your head, your feet, your hand all to the side, now it's just a matter of spinning all the way to the other side. Now I'm gonna loosen up this choke. Normally they could be tapping from here, but I like to bring this knee and put it on this side of the head and then come all the way back to mount, okay? Once you're in this position, for sure they could be choking, he's getting ready to, uh, you can easily finish, but you also have a triangle set up, you have, you're still in mount, and, or you have an arm bar set up, okay? So it's kind of a, a very safe technique to do uh, because it doesn't really risk the position, okay? So one more time, let's do it from the side. So our head this way. So boom, in mount, I'm gonna be in a lower mount here. Make sure my lapel is out. Hug the head, shift my weight, feed the lapel. Once I have the lapel fed, I'm gonna bring this foot over, kind of shut the hips out of your way, and you come to side control. Once you're here, this hand comes to the side. Once your hand is on the side, you bring your head to the side, and you need to keep your head low. Once your head's to the side, you're gonna sprawl out. And now it's just a matter of walking all the way to the other side. And like I said, bring this knee to this side of the head so he doesn't follow you. From here, look, my left knee's on top of the shoulder. My right's gonna go do a 360 and step all the way back over to mount. From here, we can finish. Or to finish the triangle, I'm gonna loosen up that grip for him. I'm gonna pull this elbow up and fall to that side and boom, we have a triangle set up.
Okay? Or you can finish that. Hope you like that. Uh, mess around with it and let me know.